survey, Hillary and Michael come across natural debris and some human-made debris. And this is what they're here for, to count and record the things that don't belong here. Why record debris? It's important to have information on the type and quantity of debris on beaches to inform future prevention and mitigation. As they walk along the transect, Hillary sees a couple of items that are less than 2.5 centimeters long. That's anything smaller than a bottle cap. She should not record these in the debris count. Hillary finds an aluminum can. She places it in her five gallon bucket so she can catalog and eventually dispose of it. She then finds a piece of rubber. She puts this in the bucket, along with some pieces of rope. A few minutes later, Hillary and Michael find something that they can't quite identify. This one's too big for a bucket, so Hillary takes a picture of it and catalogs it on the spot on her transect survey form. Since it's made out of plastic and doesn't fit into one of the existing plastic categories, Hillary and Michael catalog it as plastic other. You can categorize and record debris on the beach after each transect or take your debris home. Either way, each transect gets recorded separately. Hillary and Michael decide to catalog on the spot immediately after their transect has been surveyed. They place their collected debris on the ground so they can record and photograph them. Hillary sorts everything over 2.5 centimeters by category. She doesn't count anything smaller. She counts the aluminum can in the category metal aluminum cans. The rubber is counted in rubber fragments. The rope goes under plastic, rope and nets, and so on until everything is recorded. It's important to take pictures of debris to help validate your survey data. Now that all four transects have been surveyed and the data have been recorded, Hillary and Michael decide to clean the rest of the site. This is optional, but Hillary likes to leave the shore better than she found it. Once she's home, Hillary uploads her survey data. So, she logs onto the MD Map website. You'll create an account the first time. The data is added to the database where anyone in the world can access it. There are even charts and graphs to track what's found over time. Now, you are ready to get started. You'll be contributing to an essential project that makes a big difference in documenting and understanding shoreline marine debris, which can help guide prevention. Thanks for being part of MDMAP. See you out there on the shore.